Insane to see what he's done at sunset. You just immediately think about how good Jack Robinson is at this wave. And then way before all of them, Ian Cairns uh, had some special performances at this venue. The program is still with Tommy Whitaker. Tommy's on the scene, and Jake kind of chimes in from home. And that is a great dynamic duo in the coach's corner. Backside snap to start for Jadson Andre. And he'll carve his way out. Didn't start it early against Kanoa Higurashi. Huge carves. Meanwhile, we saw Matty McGillivray kind of with a misstep again. And we come off the lip line with an aggressive attacking maneuver. And laying low, Kanoa Higurashi in the matchup with Jansen Andre. To watch Matty go down in that fashion. And then Kanoa Higurashi digs his board as well as his whole body into the face of that wave. Manages to keep handle on that maneuver watch this Joey just forces his way through the face of this wave lays it all down I think uh, it's not as clean as he would have liked to have made that maneuver surfing against the bigger seeds getting those reps and putting himself in a position to make it through and, and really backing himself um, it's such a good lesson for people wanting to make the championship tour as we see Jansen Andre Get that first turn out of the way. A lot of white water on the face. He'll miss the finish. Which you can't be too hard on these guys for. How hard it is to capitalize on a dynamic end section turn. Insanely good what he was able to do on that last wave. I think he's going to improve on that 6.67, Joe. And now setting a setup for Kanoa Garashi. Just maybe moving his position down the line. That's still the non-priority heat that we have underway. Last couple of years, matty has been away from home for so many months at a time to make sure he was competing on the top stage. This is Jadson Andre chasing a section. And he's going a long way to kick out. A tough one there for Andre. Nothing changing on his numbers with Kanoa Garashi. Now let's take a look at the standings in this heat with 17 minutes remaining and Kanoa Garashi with the advantage. Jadson Andre just drops into the pit and i don't know if that's going to count as a flying embers drop of the day because that was a no make but that's going to be a brutal beating for the brazilian and uh for jadson this one would even the score white priority here we go jaddy baby jadson andre off the bottom a nice hook off the top pacing himself down the line another big aggressive hook Getting to there early, beating the Whitewater, getting the completion BL, that was an important finish. It's going to be his best ride, isn't it? And, and get him in there. The 5-1-7s, what you've got to compare it to and imagine that it's going to match that. Two nice turns, but obviously Kanoa had the priority, so he determined that that wave wasn't worth him taking. Here's the replay. Drives off the bottom, up into that lip. Drives it back into the pocket and just waiting. It's quite a bit of downtime. Then gets that beautifully timed snap. Nothing really else to say when you have a connection with something. You can't really explain it. So I just try and find that. And connections with those sets on the head. How many sets on the head did you get? <laughs> oh, so many. Like, yeah, it was, it was gnarly. I just got to save energy. I'm, and then you're trying to, like, focus on another guy. And Kano Igarashi surfed this wave, BL. Yeah, and he surfed it really well. Good score for uh, Jadson. It was exactly what he needed at that point in time. He most probably didn't need Kanoa to get this wave right behind it and kind of back up. He's going to improve on that 517. So the 577 for Jadson kind of eclipsed the 517 and put him right there in this heat. And you were like, okay, things are off and racing. But I figure this one from Kanoa is going to be one of his better scores and better that 5.17 and put more pressure onto the Brazilian shoulders. Surfed it beautifully. His technique and his style is just so gorgeous. Yeah, a lot of torque in these turns from Kanoa Igarashi. And he's really, he's growing. You can see his size. He used to look like a kid. Jadson Andre scratching into this one. Good looking wave. Has to handle that drop. Does so. Chatter on the bottom, but he handles it. Chatter off the top. A little bit of buck and bronco happening here for Jadson Andre. Lining up for the inside section. Maybe a barrel ride. Maybe a tube attempt. Pulls in and goes head over heels there, BL. Would you could have grabbed that rail and just gone for a full flip. <laughs> Drops into the face, looked like Tommy Carroll for a moment there. Strong on his feet. Now you can see all the bump. 
and he sees this line ahead of him and he's hoping that there is that opportunity but you can see it's just clamped and uh, that ejector seat off the front was most probably a very good idea you can see here he thinks about it he's going into that tube stance and then just goes oh i don't know i'm out of here kicks the board out of the way kanoa another beautiful wave this afternoon way overhead double overhead and a beautiful carve off the top makes his way through a warbly section oh. presses on the tail there comes around the corner again pulls into the barrel no problem for igarashi completes the barrel exclamation mark at the end of the ride well done everything was going kanoa's way he had those couple of sixes and you feel like you're cruising but all it takes is jaddy to drop an eight and all of a sudden you're not in the lead and i was thinking that you know this is one of those heats it was starting to shape up like that for kanoa but this is exactly the sort of ride he needed at this exact moment in time because this is the pressure cooker gets this inside tube right manages all of that the undulations and the bump and the lump and just surfs it with such maturity and power and style and um, found that tube right on the inside. It's going to be a great score. Can put a lot of pressure on Jadson Andre, and it makes me feel like uh, this is the ride that may secure his place in the quarterfinals. Just great read and reflexes to punch the tail on that carve and then get under the hook. Jadson in this time frame needs two wave scores of 16.1. Here we go. This one's for the love, Jaddy Baby. Big drop disappears from view. Hooks it off the top. This wave shaping up nicely for Jadson Andre. Loads up off the bottom again. Big aggressive snap showing commitment. And he just yeah. kisses uh -huh. <laughs> Sunset Beach and says, thanks for the ride. How cool was that? That was him just paying his respects and appreciating the opportunities that he has. That was the sort of wave he needed earlier in the heat because that's going to be a good score. And that would have been a wave that had got him back in if it had happened before that 977 got banked. Here we go. We'll have a look at this replay. Drop straight down the face. Drives off the bottom up. Oh, good acceleration up the wave face. And then hooks it down. And then comes through into this inside section. Another beautifully timed turn. Big open face. And he looks <laughs> to the heavens. Looks to Mother Nature. Looks to the ocean. Says, thanks for the ride. It's been a good one. Jadson Andre finishing off with a bang. But it is the Kanoa Igarashi story. A 9.77. A 6.33. Igarashi will be coming up against Jack Robinson in quarterfinal number four.